everyone, and welcome to MATLAB for students, engineers, and professionals in STEM. I am very excited to bring you this course because, well, it's a very special course. In fact, this is the very first course I ever made, and it is no longer available on any websites except deeplearningcourses.com. So for those of you who know me, you probably think of me as a Python guy. Well, I've been using Python every day for many years, but I actually got my start in other languages, such as C++, Java, and MATLAB. MATLAB is a unique language because it's not a general purpose language like Python. For example, you won't build a web application in MATLAB. What MATLAB focuses on is numerical computation. In other words, doing math and science computation is MATLAB's bread and butter. It is very good at this because it's the only thing it does. MATLAB was first released in 1984, so it has a long track record of serving both academics and professionals in their work. So who uses MATLAB and why might it be right for you? Well, MATLAB is the kind of language where normally you wouldn't pick it up unless you were introduced to it through some other means. For example, your class on electromagnetism might require you to do some work in MATLAB, or you join a quantitative finance team and all your teammates write their code in MATLAB. In other words, MATLAB is mostly geared towards students, academics such as university professors and researchers, as well as professionals in STEM fields, such as computational biologists, neuroscientists, physicists, and financial engineers. The purpose of this course is to introduce you to MATLAB as a programming language. So you'll learn all the basics you would normally learn when you learn a new language, such as basic syntax, how to assign variables, and how to represent different data types. You'll learn how to program basic logic, such as for loops, if statements, and so forth. And because it's a numerical computing library, you'll also learn about some basic operations, such as matrix and vector addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll also learn how to write your own reusable functions. You'll learn about plotting and visualizing your data, which is very important for communicating your work to others. The second part of this course focuses on a specific application of MATLAB, in particular, signal processing. In this section, we work with images and sound. I think this is the nicest kind of data to work with because, well, everybody knows what images and sound are. We'll work with different kinds of filters, such as blurring and edge detection. We'll go over a very important operation called convolution. You might recognize this word because it's very popular these days with the advent of deep learning. One of the most successful architectures in deep learning is the convolutional neural network. Signal processing is one of those topics which is applicable to many different fields, which makes it a very useful topic to cover. Some examples are quantitative finance, electromagnetics, time series analysis, and deep learning. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next lecture.